These peoples had begun to settle down before the Israelite invasion, and they remained polytheists until the end of the Hebrew Bible period. The early Israelites possessed a strong centralizing force in their monotheistic faith, combined with a stern code of ethics, which set them apart from all their neighbors. The Mosaic tradition of the covenant between Yahweh and Israel, made concrete by the tabernacle and its ritual, bound the tribes together in a cultic bond resembling the later Greek Amphictyonies. Characteristic of these organizations was a central sanctuary, surrounded by its worshippers. Straining against this religious bond were disruptive tribal forces held in leash by a loose alliance between the tribes, which was often severed by civil war. But for the constant attacks launched by its neighbors, Israel would perhaps never have attained any political solidarity. As it was, salvation from its foes lay only in union, and after abortive attempts had been made at one-man rule, Saul became king of all of Israel, circa 1020 BC.